I'd like to show you the settings mode of our twin head linear weigher. Um, for engineering access we have a settings parameter screen. This is password protected. Access to the settings screen then allows you to test outputs for efficient operation. Hit test mode, then hit the feed rate for the unit that you want to want to access and the machine will respond. Of course this is good for fault finding and diagnostics. Also in this screen is a function table which allows you the, to alter the presets of all the default recipe variables. So if an operator is for example allowed to operate his feeder between a lower limit of 20 and an upper limit of 20 you would set it as shown here. Now typically these values are set and forget, but um, in the case of the fast fill feeder, you might decide that you want ultra precision and you would like to slow the feed rate down at the expense of accuracy, in which case you can reduce this limit down to 10. I would suggest that that will be sickening slow, but by way of example, um, uh, that's one of the parameters. Um, so if you refer to your manual, most of these parameters will be expanded in some detail. Okay, so to set a new recipe, we should be at the new batch screen. Enter the recipe number you require. Number three is being pre-set as a 500 gram packet size. Hit the enter. Load the recipe up. You have a screen showing you all the operating parameters. Uh, if you're happy with those, you may have a batch sheet associated with these parameters. Hit the Yes key. And uh, to um, do a machine reset, we recommend that you give the stop button a long press, which will automatically reset the last batch, ready for the machine to run. Selects a previously entered recipe, but the new batch key gives him access to 10 recipes. I have pre-recorded recipe 3 to be a 500 gram parcel. Hitting the enter key and the load batch key brings up a parameters at view screen for recipe 3. Um, this may not mean much to the operator, but it may match some values on a batch sheet. Hitting yes accepts the recipe, and we're at the operating screen. To start a new recipe, we recommend so that the machine starts in a known state by entering any hoppers or, um, or resetting any of the parameters to do a reset, which is a long press on the stop key. At the end of the reset period, this message will appear, current batch reset done. Now the machine is ready to perform a new batch and hitting the F key will start operations. Now, um, grabbing some bags, um, the machine should be ready. All of these values are changed simply by pressing the value. In this case, it's the in-flight or the amount of product that flows after the machine has been told to shut off. Um, if we change this to 6, and it's minus 6 grams, short, enter. That parameter is now live and the machine is adjusted accordingly. Back to our operating screen.
Uh, why not make sure the linear way is the right packaging system to suit your products and needs? Uh, you should talk to Bradwood Packaging Sales Engineers on 02 8 or go to our web at www.awe.com.au